Hi guys, back again on my channel and today I'm going to review a subwoofer Underseat Subwoofer from MB Quad Okay, I just bought this from New Technic Car Audio, Schnenberhardt, which is a, a local distributor for MB Quad brand and other brands like Mohawk, uh, Helix and other stuff, very high quality stuff Okay, so they're wrapped in very good um, packaging, it's like a present in fact so just open this one and see the unboxing inside okay so let me just untie this okay here we go uh, so this guy is uh, MB Quad 6x9 I think it's 6x9 uh, square subwoofer okay it's a very stealth design looks what here I hope you can see it. He said, "Let me have a look." That it says here, designed and engineered in the USA, powered by Maxonics. Maxonics is actually the parent company. A lot of brand under Maxonics, such as Iphonics, Planet Audio, and a lot more. I just don't really recall. Okay, so here is the spec. The spec says 150 watts. I think that is RMS and 40 hertz equalizer. I mean crossover. There's two here. Is 40 hertz, 10 hertz. I'm not really sure what that mean. Okay, so here it says 4 ohms is the impedance of the voice coil. Okay, so and a lot in a lot of things like bass boost input sensitivity level control is just very basic features no need to explain they're very straightforward and it's made in china that is very common because a lot of the u.s factory now is u.s audio factory now is in china okay so let's just open what's inside okay so oh here's the unit okay first of all is the remote control cable the extension okay um, the best knob okay this one i'm i think i'm not going to put in my car after i already tune i think that's it i will just leave this stuck under because i don't like too many knobs to be put on my car i really love a slow profile design and this one a bunch of mounting screw together with mounting feeds um, which is i would not use i uh, i would like not to use this because i don't want to drill my car i just put nicely under the seat i think that would be enough Okay, but for you guys, you want to drill, is your goal. Okay, so... Okay, we get back into that. And the Ambiquad Quick Guide, which I think I never use. Okay. Oh, they provide a sticker. Okay, it's just a sticker, a very round three. I think it's a two-inch speaker. Three-inch speaker, in fact. Very nice sticker. Okay, so an owner's manual. Okay, so here it said, very surprisingly, power output rating is 200 watts, which is, I'm not sure, is it 200 watt RMS or max uh, RMS or max power? Because in the box, it says 150 watts. I think that's the RMS, okay? So 200 watt, I'm not really sure, which is the power this is it the max or the rms i'm not really sure it doesn't tell here it's just said output rating okay and this one is i think this is high to low input if your car don't have rca input then you might need to use this okay this is um high power input which tap directly to your speaker out okay if you don't have rca output okay so let's just put this box aside and get back to this okay actually it's very compact it's not that big it's just like hopefully you can see the size it's not big seriously it's not big but this is quite not really cheap this one is cost around 100 um i think it's around 150 dollar it's not that cheap actually so most of the time subwoofer come around around um i think 50 dollar and above 60 dollar you can get under seat but this one is quite expensive it's 150 dollar if i don't miss in malaysia is 650 or 680 i bought it 680 
ringgit so you may convert into dollar if you would okay so here's the back oh okay this is surprising it says max power 450 watts i see this is very very much confusing because in the box it say 150 watts of course that is rms and then in the owner's manual it says 200 watt which is very confusing okay let's try to open this one i don't care i'm not going to put back in the box so no need to secure those there we go guys okay you see here there is the ntc logo that's cert certified this product is genuine okay so here looking in the control here we have the low pass uh low pass is for uh, sorry for the motorcycle sound guys so low pass is where you get the range for the subwoofer to operate usually we do this to match the to match the speaker level with the subwoofer sorry to match the speaker frequency with the subwoofer so let's say your speaker is playing as low as 70 hertz then maybe you twist this one until maybe 75 hertz okay but here don't have any indicators of number so maybe you can tune by ear that is all right bass boost is where if the pre if the bass you're not feeling any bass you can certainly volume dial this one up on this gain but remember bass boost is not a volume okay it's the bass concentrator so if you tune this one to higher bass higher sensitivity so even the song has less bass it will be sound bass here okay so that's exactly what it did okay level is the gain okay the subwoofer volume okay so you may put this minimum or uh, or high depending on the the matching uh, volume output of your speaker okay let's say your speaker is a bit louder then you might turn this up a bit high to make sure the sound is balanced press and unpress this button and it it ha it seems there is no different just leave it to zero degree okay okay so this is auto power on or auto power off this this is when you don't have remote out from your car factory for example car factory head unit they don't have the remote output or m continue con connectivity then you may need to push this on because it will get the the power sensing from the rca input or the high level input so it will turn on or off this uh subwoofer okay so here the fuse is 25a so if 25a you times 10 for class d is 250 watts is around operating around that area so maybe there's a logic if it says 100 watts uh i mean 200 watts rms that is logic because the fuse is 25a okay 25 ampere you times 10 for class d which is class d efficiency but this thing is doesn't say it's class d so it may be a slash b or class d we don't know but if class d 200 watts then it is correct but um, if class a may be lower than that because of the efficiency most under seat subwoofer is using a b um only i know uh like pioneer and pioneer i think they are using most pet class d so that's about it but we don't care we take this uh the safest value which is 150 rms and these guys claim it able to go to 450 watts okay which is very loud in fact 450 watts okay so again this is the terminal it's a screw terminal very very uh tidy screw terminal terminal very solid so here you have remote in and then 12 volt direct which is connect direct to your car head battery and ground it's very basic and this is the remote uh the remote for this one the remote extension goes to here and it goes to remote uh, this base this controller okay so the subwoofer is very small it's six by nine like what we predict but the cone here is very very solid than uh, than normal 6.9 mid-range so of course it produce uh, bass now this casing is made of metal you see there's a clean sound okay just a grill a very simple ambiquats uh, logo out there is is metal also okay now you you may uh, see two brands uh bearing this name quad which is uh, other one is audio quad 
AB Quad and MB Quad. I mean, three of them. But the genuine one is MB Quad, if you don't know. The Audio Quad and AB Quad, they, are, they sound acceptable, in fact. But they are actually not genuine. I mean, they are not uh, related to MB Quad. There's totally different Chinese brand. Okay, MB Quad established in Germany, but bought uh, by US audio group, which is Maxonic, and they are operating as part of Maxonic. Okay, so remember, guys, this subwoofer may not sound banging like uh, your those 10 inch, 12 inch, uh, a real subwoofer. Okay, in fact, this is will I'm not sure how low it goes, but what we do is because my car using Hertz loudspeaker the bass is very good i mean in fact it's like you having a subwoofer however because it's just powered by a 22 watts head unit when the bass get higher the amplifier uh, amplifier power is not enough to drive that bass on the vocal so there's a clarity issue with that okay so to add more clarity, I add this subwoofer so the speaker can focus more on the vocal. Some people don't understand because they say um, the I have uh, 100 watts of uh, uh, power. Actually, 100 watt is maximum power, not RMS. RMS means it plays the audio all entire spectrum with that uh, with that. Um, constant watt for example 22 watt rms means every frequency will pay play 22 watts okay so if there is a spike uh, for the frequency for example there's a bass boom the power voltage will be focused on that one frequency means the other frequency band will be exhausted that's why when you're adding more power to the amplifier it doesn't make things go louder it's just sometimes make sound more clearer and more manageable okay so let's put this into the car so guys i installed the subwoofer already inside the car it's actually located here i will turn on the light for you to see so it's over here a very small subwoofer indeed it sits very properly in tight space okay so let's listen okay guys um so we are about to do some listening tests with this MB Quad subwoofer. Okay, we begin with a song that is uh, is not that bass here, but uh, I have the idea on on how the song will be performed with um, subwoofer. So let's try with uh, Atas Nama Cinta by Rosa. It's Indonesian song. Let's try it.
is very very good sounding subwoofer because um, Rosa song has a few of vocal uh, ma mainly focus on vocal and certain violin instruments but the bass come at the right place it doesn't disturb any of the else instrument and it really transparent it doesn't seem to overpower the vocal or whatsoever so let's move on on to the next songs which is um let me try here um something bass here now okay so let's try dance monkey see if that would make any change And then I think I'm on the right point of tuning because um, the subwoofer is so much transparent blending with those meats because in the monkey dance there's a part where the bass is a bit I mean it's a, at a high frequency and then the subwoofer is on the lower frequency it doesn't seems to make a difference it's just sound like so harmony I think I'm on the right point of the crossover part and it's so sound really really well balanced okay so now i'm going to move to other song which is an indonesian song so let's try uh, mawar di jong lebih uh, sayang sayangnya because i know that song have a good bass and i'm not really sure if this camera can pick up the quality of the audio that i'm playing but there's one after this i will make it blast to the normal sounds listening that volume listening that i prefer Okay, sayang sayangnya.
This is very good. That is very good sounding. So let's try another song. Um, let's try what we have here. Um, let's try Dua Lipa. Okay. So where is it now? The kick drum is very, very responsive together with the subwoofer. Usually I would listen around this uh, volume 23 but I'm not sure the camera able to pick up Okay, now let's listen to one song which is the bass is super he super hitting I mean it's hitting very hit very well which is uh, nobody by one the girls let's just listen to that Soap guys. Let's volume it up a bit. That is very good bass representation. Now let's go to something rock. I mean something like rock. 
um, I can see where is um, is actually here kin kin okay smooth there's not much to uh, to test on the song because it's the same repeated uh, i mean repeated uh, rhythm doesn't change much in terms of adding or new instrument or something let's now try um where is just now yes yeah, selfie by the chain smoker and see if the bass is going boom I wall him up up to make he was totally the feel. The bass is so boomy. It's very good. Okay, now one Indonesian song. Of course, in my review, there will be a lot of sound tests because that's what we want. We want to satisfy our ears in buying audio products, right? So, is untuk apa? Maudi Ayunda. See? 
Okay, now let's try a Spanish uh, mix um, by Clean Bandit, um, just the instrument part. And check the wall canal. Floating. It's like the sapopa is on the same height with those mids and highs. Okay. Let's move to one song, which I know the bass since I was like I think secondary school. Okay, so this is the one. It's my hut. That is very good and just one more song guys one more song let me let me try to uh, don't know song so let's try this one song okay I know this is not favorite but just try okay some I in fact dang dude Okay, so I'm putting 21 on my volume.
so soft guys it's very soft guys the bass is so soft all right that's what i can say okay uh right now i think this listening test is over uh, i hope the gopro can pick up the sounds that i hearing which is very high quality sound now for this subwoofer what i can say this is the subwoofer where it is accurate the bass is accurate it blends together with the mids and the highs it doesn't like interrupt the vocal the mids so when actually one of the key factor is maybe I'm 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 very good at tuning it so in the setting here is my setting hopefully the GoPro is focusing that so in the X over this is my setting mm, speaker select and then I select subwoofer when I select subwoofer and X over so the slope I goes to negative 6 dB octave and then the frequency low frequency filter I go to 90 Hertz and the gain of the subwoofer I go very low up to negative 8 dB which is also you can set at the subwoofer which is not handy because you have to dial in down the seat okay so that is a particular setting which I think it so, uh, suits my cabin uh, car cabin very well this the bass is very smooth when you when you playing uh, things uh, when you tuning subwoofer this is just my advice okay because i'm mostly listening to uh general song like jazz uh ballads and then rocks so most of the time i tune using the song some very song that have a little bass which i know the song um very good on how it will perform when it have bass and then then i go to rnb tuning like a song that is hip hop and then those black ips because once you perfect the song that is sentimental with the bass then you have no issue on the hip hop because they just follow the uh, follow the pattern okay i mean follow the setting because uh, if you tune in the song that would come with bass you can't tell the difference because the song already uh, focusing on the bass so on the vocal part because hip hop mainly on bass and the high they don't have much on the mid so for the song that is like ballads or maybe dangdut you can also tune in dangdut um, but not really recommended most of the time it's better to have songs that is jazz or rock because they have bass they have mids and then they have highs and make sure if you are tuning this subwoofer you always know how a good sound should be for example you listen to good speaker and the song that you used to hear play on the good speaker so you can mark that as a reference okay so right now um i think that's the end of my video the conclusion is this subwoofer is not disappointing i thought it's six by nine it shouldn't perform that because my father have a car and he had a subwoofer under seat which is 10 inch uh, but it's a no brand subwoofer it doesn't sound this smooth and it very sound like sharp how to tell if your subwoofer you have a you have tuned your subwoofer in the good way is when the subwoofer sound but you don't feel uh, you don't see where is the direction i mean you can't tell where is the direction then your tuning is already right because the subwoofer is blending but if the subwoofer sound sharp which you can tell the direction of its sound then your tuning is not right you have there's something have to be perfect in there okay so uh mb quad is recommended by an audio veteran because i always afraid of subwoofer under seat subwoofer because i this is the first time i play under seat subwoofer most of the time i play real subwoofer i play with 15 with uh with 15 with 10 and with 12 okay and generally speaking subwoofer rules if you are going for rock and stuff rock hip hop and stuff you better choose 12 inch which is the subwoofer of uh, audio pile subwoofer we call it when you go over the size like 15 16 18 they are more to hip hop song okay it's because they are not as fast as the 12 inch they are moving con not as fast as that okay so for 6 by 9 
I don't believe that it able to perform like that like very smooth base okay and it's just three inch tall I mean yes the cabinet dimensions is only three inch can you imagine that guys and then to end this video the MB quad actually recommend by some of my Malaysian audio veteran friends they say it's very good stay away from Kenwood and JVC they said because the subwoofer under seat sounds dry so the MB quad and Alpine and also what uh, what are the brand they recommend um, and I forget there's some Chinese brand a wave they say it's very good and smooth but I picked the MB quad because it's very cheap for its quality it's not that cheap I mean for its quality it's very good okay so guys if you watching this video thanks again till the end because it's a long video with lots of listening tests and explanation but hopefully you get the point subwoofer is about smoothness and balance it's not over based on things that not necessary uh, till then guys hopefully you subscribe to my video um, the things that I review is always the things that I buy and things that have in my hand so if you guys requested me to review a things which I don't have I can't make the review so I need more subscriber to have more sponsor if I have the sponsor I can make a better video a better quality alright so see you guys on the next video be safe on the road bye